Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. I'm the supervisor of ectotherms at the Naples Zoo. You may have seen me earlier in our Facebook Live where we talked about bugs and different types of arthropods. And now we're going to talk about ways that you could go out in your own backyards and look for some of the critters that we talked about earlier and even more. There are tons of things that we have in our own homes that we could go out and use to gently look at bugs, including something just like a little Tupperware here. If you are going to use a Tupperware, just make sure to have an adult help you poke holes in there so we don't have any sort of issues with the animals. And we're just going to make sure to be very gentle when we go out and look for bugs. And we're also only going to have them for a little bit of time, just long enough to look at them and appreciate them. So we've got this little diagram here where we're going to catch the bugs, we will observe them, we can check out some of the things that they have, some of their characteristics, and then we're going to release them. So we're gonna do a little scavenger hike to go out and catch and release some bugs. Okay, so we went out and we just found a place where there's some nice good leaf litter. So this is just leaves that have fallen off trees, have been lying on the ground, and have started to decompose from some of the critters and we found a millipede. So this guy is one of our millipedes we have here in Florida. It's actually an invasive species of millipede, but one that's very common. So I'm gonna use this little spoon, scoop him up gently, and then we're gonna put him right in here. Okay, so now we've looked at this guy, we've checked him out, and we're going to gently release him back where we found him. Bloop. And we're going to cover up this area so we can put his little habitat back together, let him go about his day, doing some breaking down of all these leaves. Okay, so we found a little grasshopper, and we want to see what it was we found. So we're going to gently have him go into one of our little containers. We can look at him even more closely and even take a picture if we want to or bring out one of our field guides and figure out what he is. So another way that you can find a lot of little bugs around are lifting up rocks or logs and this is something you want to be careful with because sometimes like this one's pretty large. So let's see if we can find anything. Oh yeah. So these little guys running around are called earwigs. I'm gonna see if we can just scoop and then put on our tray. So uh, it looks like there's a little earwig there. There's an isopod, I think. Yeah, an isopod. Hooray. Um, that's a tiny earwig. So that's why these trays can be really useful and the scooper because we don't know what we're going to find. And like we talked about, any animal could try to defend itself. So if we go in here and just use our hands to scoop up a lot of things, potentially there could be an animal that is scared and it could bite or pinch. We got some little worm guy. Oh, it might be a centipede. Yeah. So that is actually a centipede. And you see how much faster he moves than that millipede we found out here. He's scurrying along and he does have a way to bite. So we're not going to touch him with our hands. We're just gonna kind of let him be. So still under the same rock, along with our centipede and the earwigs, we have a little coiled up millipede. So a lot of these animals are all doing the same thing, either breaking down that leaf litter or they're animals that are going after the animals breaking down the leaf litter like that centipede. Now this guy I know is gonna not be some of your favorite, but this is a type of roach. And roaches get a reputation for being really dirty and they're not. They're just little bugs out there doing their thing and also helping clean up the environment. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm going to set the rock back a lot of the critters that were underneath it have already scurried away. And then that's going to allow me to gently just let all these guys go right at the base of the rock. But then that way I'm not 
putting the rock directly on top of them. All right, so this is a spider that we actually see pretty commonly here in Florida, and you might be able to find. This is a spiny-backed orb weaver. And the really cool thing about going out and finding spiders is that we don't need to do our catch and release in order to observe them, to identify them. You can see this one, we're pretty close, but far enough that we're not making this one nervous, so we could easily figure out what species this is and even observe some of its behaviors. So spiders are a great one to go out in your backyard and find. Thank you guys so much for coming out and exploring some of the zoo with us. And we hope you really enjoy going out in your own backyards and looking for some of these arthropods and bugs that we found today. And if you find some, please post a picture of them in the comments and we can see what everybody's finding. Thanks everyone.